Uh, hello, my dear friends, it's Natalie here from In-Depth Yoga Academy and today I would like to speak with you about anger management. I heard many, many times opinion that professional athletes who choose in the combat sport have the problem about manage the anger. I think it's cliche and it's not completely true. Of course, it's difficult and you can be tired when you fight uh, someone. And of course, different kind of emotion coming into your heart, into your mind. And as professional and professional fighter, of course, you have to keep it under control. Today, I would like to introduce you to three or four simple exercises which help you to keep your breath under control, to keep your mind stable and focus on the primary goal uh, calmness and of course winning and we start from the simple child position with open knee so we open our knee wider just to give yourself space to your chest extend the arms forward put your head down and just relax Keep breathing here, nice long deep inhalation and exhalation. On the physical uh, level, it will help you to stretch your shoulders and your arms, your upper back, and also because we're pushing the uh, buttocks on the heels, it's help you to stretch your quads. So stay here, several breaths, and after shift the weights forward to the sphinx position. I will stay from the side that you can see. Stay on the forearm and our shoulder on the elbow level. Uh, come down, separate your fingers, sink between your shoulder blades and you will notice that we compress the low back. We do it on purpose that after several breaths when we release it, the new energy and blood flow through your spine and give you nice relaxation. Move the hips a little bit. Stay here. Restore your energy. And on next breath, come to the sitting position. Kick the legs forward. So we come into the sitting position it's called half shoelace we extend the left leg right we put on top knee to knee and we take nice and heel on the exhalation we bend forward we release the pressure of the shoulders and trying to lean forward with our chest We stay here several breaths. It's help you to cleanse your liver because we're working on the liver meridian, not just on the muscle, not only on the muscles and ligaments, we also using the Chinese theory about the meridian and moving the energy. So right now we're cleansing the liver, which is answering for anger. Several breaths here and we switch the side. So we repeat from the other leg. Same position, extend knee to knee and open to the side. Lean forward and stay mindful and focus on the breath. So from this position we come into the seated twist. We again switch the leg. So we extend the left one and bring right across of the knee of the left leg, we have with opposite arm, the knee, extend the spine, like you are lengthening through the crown, place the right arm behind you, and twist. Keep breathing here, flex your foot, 
when you flexing, you will activate back of your leg, your hamstring and your calf muscles. So my offer to flex the foot and that leg, which on the floor, actually really active. It's not just lying. We activate the muscles and in the same time, we lengthen in the spine and we stand. We pull in the navel inside on the exhalation. We hold usually five, eight breaths and we change the side. So right straight, left, across, hug with opposite arm, left arm now will be behind, straight the spine and we twist. Keep breathing here from five to eight breath. If you feel you really would like to sit a little bit longer and go deeper into position, feel free to do it. On the next breath, we come back to the neutral position, release the legs, shake them. <laughs> Bless me. We shake the legs and we bring feet to feet into the butterfly position. We can go into the sitting position and bend forward or we can lie down if you have long difficult day so we keep the legs in the butterfly position feet to feet knee hanging you can move gently from side to side lie down on your bed and release your arms to the side just stay focused on the breath nice deep inhalation and exhale pull the navel inside and push your low back on the floor Let your knee go to the close to the floor naturally with your breath. Stay here as long as you feel it. After when you're done, bring your hands to your knee, close them to your chest. You can gently roll back and forward and come to the sitting position. We hope you will take that small tip to everyday practice and it uh, will help you to improve your flexibility, to get your mind strong and help you with your breathing control during the heavy exercise or sparring practice, whatever you are doing. Namaste.